is so dramatic. Go ahead, have a seat. I suggest you sit down. Why don't you have a seat? I should get headphones. God, I, f I feel like this is a coming out video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, this video is going to be a little bit different than some of the other stuff that I usually post. This is going to be more like vlog kind of. So if you're not interested in listening to me talk, Shut because up! I know I wouldn't want to, you can skip over this. Give me a turn to speak! Talking about um, where I am, what I'm doing, and why I'm doing it. So three uh, three weeks ago, I all right, Seto so coming in from the editing room in the video. I said three weeks, but actually, by the time I got to edit this and post it, it's probably more like two months. So sorry for the wait. I moved to Armenia. Um, uh, I didn't tell a lot of people about this um, change. Um, so. If you think I'm in Armenia right now for vacation, it's actually much more permanent than that. This video is basically talking about the couple of reasons why I wanted to leave the US and also why I wanted to come to Armenia. I get this question a lot and uh, I feel bad just kind of brushing off the question because I don't feel like really going into detail about my reasons. I'm just kind of bit like, oh yeah, I thought it'd be a change. No, but there's like a lot of reasons why I wanted to move. I was deciding to um, go through this process. The first reason, this is so morbid, but it's the God, the honest truth. One of the main reasons why I wanted to leave the US was because my constant paranoia of mass shootings and gun violence. Damn, if you can't go to bed on no say what the hell could you go? Detective. I don't know if I just have more heightened anxiety than the average person or people think this also, but just don't talk about it. But like, I have, ha I have a fear of mass shootings in the US. I think people also in my generation that are in their 20s also that grew up with mass shootings in the US, um, Ha have this in the back of their mind for a lot of things. I, I, I couldn't go to concerts without constantly worrying. I couldn't go to bars or clubs without worrying. I couldn't even go grocery shopping without worrying. Like even just look at like Boulder, Colorado, what happened just a few months ago. Like um, in my mind, if I'm not even safe in a grocery store, then I'm not safe anywhere. Um, so gun violence is really bad in the States, especially in Philly and with the rise of mass shootings, even um, recently, um, after like some states have made changes with gun control, it's still really scary and um, I knew that um, I needed to make a change because I was in constant, constant anxiety. Let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker. I came the same way. Number two, um, I didn't, I don't want to be political, but the Trump years really changed my idea of what I thought America was and where it was going and um, who the people I was surrounded by. Um, I'm not going to make any, um, wanna, I'm not going, I don't want to, I don't want to generalize people or my friends, but all I'll say is the Trump years changed a lot about what I thought America was. Keep your voice down, please. Keep your voice down and where it is heading. And it just made me think twice about um, where I wanna be and who I wanna be surrounded by. Next is a career change. In the States, one of the reasons I also wanted to leave the States is because I wanted to make a really dramatic career change and industry change, and that is really difficult. If you've ever tried to make a, like, a dramatic career jump in the States, you either have to go back to school full time and completely you know, get certified in a completely different industry, or you basically have to start from the ground up in an end bullshit entry level job and then go up from there. I did not want to go back down to entry level positions just to make a career change. And I knew that by coming to Armenia, it would be much easier to do an industry jump than it would be in the States. I'm not saying it's impossible. People do it all the time in the States, but that was definitely a factor because I've been working in higher ed for many, many years now. Ever since I left university, it's kind of been my career trajectory and I really did not want to go down, I didn't want to go further down that career path in that industry anymore for right now at least. And once you're in that kind of industry, it's really hard to get out because it becomes your whole world. Um, even though I got my MBA, I still feel like doing a career jump would be extremely difficult. So coming here uh, made it uh, much more simple. These are a couple of reasons why I wanted to move to Armenia specifically, not just some other random country, uh, because I thought about that too. But one of the reasons um, 
I wanted to come back because I lived here before. I was volunteering before, if you didn't know, but whatever. Um, number Not number one, but one of the main reasons was because of language progression. Um, ever since I came back to the States after I was volunteering, I still was self-studying Armenian and practicing the language, grammar, vocab, and I just was not progressing as much as I would like to. I have a whole bunch of language buddies that we do, you know, language exchanges. I have a tutor and I try to push myself to self-study as much as I could almost every morning for almost, you know, whether it was 20 minutes, 30 minutes, every morning I was studying, but I still feel like I was not getting as far as I wanted to. So by coming here, it really forces you to practice what you already know and then forces you to learn even more. Number two, just safety in general, kind of like the opposite of what I would say with like mass shootings and gun violence in the States. Um, it's really safe here. Yeah, there's some like little petty crimes here and there with like maybe small like mm, theft. Um, but even with the border crisis, I honestly feel much safer here um, in Armenia uh, and in Yerevan than I have ever felt in Philly or in the States in general. Um, even in the suburbs, like sometimes you don't even know what's gonna happen in the States, but here um, people are chill, like people are relaxed. Like I've never heard of a shooting here with just regular people. I've never heard of a stabbing. Once in a while you might hear, like very, very, very rarely, you might hear of like petty theft, but your life's not in danger when you're dealing with mm, local local crime. And number three, um, not the last, but definitely one of the main considerations was the Artsakh war and the like basically like the um, mess that we kind of went through during 2020. Um, and I just wanted to kind of just also show locals that like the diaspora still cares, like we still are um, wanting to help progress the country in the right direction and that we're not just ship hosting and warmongering online, which happens a lot. So instead of just like pretending like I care and like, you know, waving the flag and, you know, reposting like warmongering Instagram posts and whatever, or Facebook posts and just like shit talking all the time about what's wrong, actually coming here and being part of the change and actually wanting to be a part of progression and going in the right direction and rebuilding and and just showing face and just saying like hey I'm here I, I haven't forgotten about you um, and I want to be I want to be a part of rebuilding and reconstruction and, and not just talk the talk and actually come and, and walk the walk so those are some of the basic reasons um, I'm I'm not looking for validation I'm not looking for um, support or anyone's opinions or whatever this is kind of like also for myself to look back on years later to see if my my reasons have changed since then i don't know how long i'll be here my goal is minimum minimum to be working and living here as a normal resident for at least a year and then after that i'll kind of decide and see where i want to go but minimum i'll be here a year don't you come back please hurry why don't you come back and then after a year passes, I'll you know think to myself, if it's working out and I'm happy, I'll continue to stay here. If I'm miserable and I can't stand it, then I'll just go back home. The next, the next video I want to do is about culture shock and culture change, because I have seen a lot of changes that have happened here in Armenia and more specifically Yerevan since I was here five years ago, about five or six years ago. I could talk forever about the changes I've noticed. So the next video that I wanna do is all about how, how things have changed. Thanks.